there's a conservative judge who has had enough of Donald Trump's authoritarianism and flouting of congressional oversight and authority and has published an opinion absolutely destroying the Trump administration. And this is you know, this isn't one of those cartoonish Trump stories. This is a judge, a conservative judge, Frank Easterbrook, who says what's going on completely goes against the checks and balances and separation of powers that our country was designed to have. Now, of course, Frank Easterbrook is going to be assailed as some kind of liberal activist judge. The truth is, if he's an activist judge, he's a conservative activist judge. Judge Easterbrook from the Seventh Circuit of Appeals is a regular speaker for the Federalist Society, a conservative group. This is somebody that the late Supreme Court Justice Antonin Scalia approved of as a possible replacement for him on the Supreme Court. So this is a right wing judge that is saying what I am about to tell you. And what Judge Easterbrook says is that when William Barr declared that a court decision in an immigration case was incorrect and therefore the Justice Department, the administration can just ignore it. Judge Easterbrook said this is unacceptable. This is a violation of the separation of powers in the United States. This runs directly counter to Marbury v. Madison, which established that federal judges review the constitutionality of what other branches do, not William Barr, the attorney general, gets to say, yeah, I don't really like what the court decided, so we're going to go ahead and ignore it. Judge Easterbrook wrote in his decision, quote, we have never before encountered defiance of a remand order and we hope never to see it again. Members of the board must count themselves lucky that Baez Sanchez has not asked us to hold them in contempt with all the consequences that possibility entails. The judge is saying this is such an incorrect action by the Justice Department that if the plaintiff in this case, uh, I'm sorry, the, the, the defend, uh, no, the plaintiff, yes, if the plaintiff in this case asked the court to hold the administration in contempt that the judge would have to seriously consider that. And the argument here is that when Barr says no thanks to the decision, he is effectively challenging whether Marbury v. Madison is valid, which completely exceeds the scope of what the attorney general is actually able to do. And the situation is less cartoonish than when Trump fires Comey to stop the Russia investigation, right? That's an extremely cartoonish and headline grabbing action by the president. What the administration is doing here, according to this conservative judge, is arguably just as disgusting and potentially even more impactful in terms of its implications, because it goes to some of the key issues that define how the how the United States is supposed to work. Does the executive branch get to make law? Who gets to ignore court decisions which effectively render the entire federal appeals court process moot, irrelevant and powerless. Is there a way, is there a mechanism to hold the executive accountable for violating established law when they simply say, nah, I don't like the law. We think the law is wrong. We're going to ignore it. Republicans say that they're about law and order and about checks and balances. And they claim almost to pray at the Constitution as if it were a pseudo sacred text. So how do they stand aside and allow William Barr to just pick and choose which laws he wants to follow or not follow? The, the law only matters if it's enforced and if you have valid enforcement mechanisms. And if the Trump administration has proven anything, they've proven it's not clear that if an administration is determined to just ignore the law, to ignore checks and balances, to uh, uh, have a president that just says, nah, we don't want to. No, thanks. Then we actually may not have the checks and balances we believe that we have. And there there's a sick irony here. And I hesitate to even call it an irony because you have a movement, the American right wing, which says we need the Second Amendment in case the government becomes tyrannical. And we have a government that's becoming tyrannical right in front of their faces. They're ignoring laws they don't like decided by federal appeals courts that have the right to determine the constitutionality of actions by the other branches. They have an administration ignoring that and they are silent. Dictators ignore courts or control courts and Trump is ignoring the courts and trying to control them. Look at the Roger Stone case and the Second Amendment people 
who say we really need guns in case this happens are now silent. And this gets us to if the administration is willing to ignore everything so far, what is to stop them from ignoring the election results? Should the election not go in their favor? I don't believe Trump can force his way into a second term if he doesn't win, but he will question the results. And if you need proof, look at the 2016 election. Trump won in 2016 electorally, and he's been arguing that the results have been wrong for three years at this point in time. Just imagine if Donald Trump loses. Let me know what you think. I'm on Twitter at D Pacman. Quick break back after this. One of our sponsors today is Vincero Watches, giving you 15% off your entire order when you go to davidpacman.com slash watch. Don't pay thousands of dollars for a high quality watch that looks great because you don't have to. All of Vincero's watches are made with high end materials, masterfully built, and they look like something you'd spend a ton of money on. But every Vincero watch ranges from about one hundred and fifty to three hundred bucks. I went over to their website and picked out the bellwether in silver and white. Really nice, elegant look. It's a chronograph style. Wore it to a gala over the weekend. And a lot of people ask me, where's the watch from? Really, really great look. Totally different. They also sent me the altitude in matte black and red, a much more rugged view of what a watch can look like. Really like it as well, as well as the athletic strap. It's a new year. It's a new decade. It's time to reestablish your style, add something new to your look. And a high quality watch is the perfect way to do that. You can get 15% off Vincero's entire collection when you go to davidpackman.com slash watch.